Giants fans. Just a little, little exclusive here, not too much. Just have a look around Stephen's house. As you can see, a lot of photos here, a lot of photos of Stephen, the golden child. Everyone loves him. Looks exactly the same. Still can't open his eyes the whole way, but he's still there. It's a shrine here, it's a shrine. He could even make little cars, I think. Stephen Kanye Canelia, we've been very fortunate tonight to get the great man, Josh Chooker Kelly. Chooker, welcome to the show. Yeah, thanks for having me, guys. Craig Lambert, thank you very much for your time. I you, uh, you would have definitely been signing some autographs at the airport and could have stayed there all night, so thanks very much for your time. Stephen, it's an absolute pleasure. Yeah, coming to Perth, it's, um, it's quite humbling actually. I, I did probably average about 35 at the Wacker and, um, and Patterson Stadium and all the other names has been... What's the hospitality been like so far tonight? Oh, very nice. They've had a nice little spread out for us tonight, so all the boys absolutely love it and it's a great thing, great tradition every time we come to Perth. You know, I, I'm pretty humble and I don't like to talk about my career much and um, my handball was exceptional in Perth. The great Phil Kelly is a mega star over here. Mega star, Sandover medals. You know, he's done it in the Waffle Boys. He's done everything. Sugar, is it true that you have to sign some of his player cards? Uh, they do. They do pop up every now and then. But no, he does have a bit of status over here. So I got a, I got a bit to live up to. To come to the Canelio's house uh, for the traditional dinner that we have, uh, honestly, it's quite humbly humbling. We. We all come here all together, the 60 of us. Um, everyone enjoys it, the food is just immaculate. Dev, you're a player that um, never gets ruled out through a general soreness like a few boys in the last couple of years, so this, uh, this place not too, uh, it is familiar for you. You've been here every time to Perth, so um, good to be back. Yeah, exactly. Uh, your family always puts on a good spread. I mean, we've been inside, outside, and we're, we're inside last year, now we're back outside. I, because I think the West, I don't know whether there's a rule in under 19, you might be able to answer this, but they don't tackle much over in WA. It's actually Joel Patful and Ryan Griffin together. You never see it happen at this footy club. But boys, on debut, <laughs> on debut at Stephen Connor Gallo's house. How's it going for you? For Gr Griff, mate, it's been really good. It's lived up to all the hype. Pork? Yeah, it's been uh, it's been a great feed, mate. Can't complain. Obviously, your nickname Porky comes from Brisbane. Have you lived up to your reputation tonight? Uh, I've been pretty good tonight. I've only had two plates. A few of the boys are going back for thirds and fourths, but I've uh, controlled myself. You know, well, it was an amazing handball, as I've stated, but over in Perth, even better. It's Simon Caddish in his natural habitat. Cat, you're in Perth. How's it feel, mate? It's great to be uh, back, there? mate. Great to be back. Um, so you get a free range at your handball. So my 30, 40 metre bullets that I used to do with the Wacker and um, Subi, there's a big lack of pressure. One player to sit, not sit next to on a five hour flight to Perth, who would it be? Shane Mumford. Shane, Shane Mumford. Without doubt, Shane Mumford. <laughs> <laughs> big Mumford. Yeah, probably Mummy. I actually was next to him though, so. <laughs> you still here? Yeah, I made it. I made it. It wasn't too bad. What, what have you done to the joint? There was something different last year, we can't quite put it Mate, I've been doing a bit of work over the off-season in the backyard and stuff, so... I mean, the Swan Valley, what can I say? I mean, not only are they talented, but they're exceptional human beings, so... What's one thing you can't leave home without? Uh, I recently got some new Beats by Dre headphones, so... Choo -choo. Little plug there. <laughs> Cornelio's Caddish. Well, you know how much I write myself here? Yeah. yeah Dave, I write myself quite highly. Geez, Shane Mumford's had a rough run there, Phil. Yeah, but do you know what one thing is? It's unanimous, so he can take this feedback on and either get more annoying or get better. It's up to him now. It's, it's unanimous. Yeah, interesting to see Josh Kelly obviously coming over to Perth. Uh, Notice his white t-shirt didn't have a Ralph Lauren uh, little logo on there. Yeah, I think, um, you know, as we said before, his dad Phil is just so famous. He just wants to keep a low profile. So he's left the name brands behind. He's left the Tommies. He's left the Ralphs. He's let Toby Green take all that kind of stuff. You know, you can see Fred Perry over there, but Josh is just trying to go that low back look because, you know, he gets a lot of attention being over here. Always a pleasure having you um, at our house. I think it's the second G1 and G3 we've done um, here now. So all goes well. We'll get another episode next year. Yeah, it'd be nice. I'm um, just waiting for an opportunity. You know, every time Jane and Sandra invite me, I'll fly. I'd fly from New York, mate, to get here. So it's a great pleasure. The Kinos know how to host, and boy, oh boy, do they know how to cook. No worries. Thanks. That's an end to uh, another episode of G1 and G2. Well, you know that I'm a bit of a talker. I like conversation, and this is going to hurt because our GM of footy, Graham Allen, or Graham Gubby Allen, who's a great mate of mine, he literally gives you three minutes of conversation, and then he falls asleep, and he makes no apologies. We